Hello, this is the light burst assignment for um, the fall of 2019 and beyond. Um, I have a, a PDF file with directions and realize that um, very right off the bat that some of these directions can be played with. In other words, if I don't feel like going to wind from right another time, I might not. If I want to go to it three times, I might. It all depends on the size of the typeface that you're going to use. So I'm going to place this, which I want you to do, either print it out or place it on your other screen. And then I'll maybe bring it back and I'll refer to it. But I want to start an 8x4 document and it has to be 72 ppi. Normally I work at 300 ppi, but let's get right into it and start it. Make sure the file is RGB and background contents are transparent. So I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to click, uh, I have it on my other screen, um, right now it's on my other screen, so I am going to go over to here and hit print, and it says 8 by 4 at 72 ppi, so I'm going to change pixels to inches, 8 wide by 4 high, please do that, and I'll of course keep it at that landscape, um, that orientation at 72 ppi. So let's go here and now let's just expand it. Now I can hit the F button and just um, hit command zero and it'll just go to full screen but I'm gonna hold my option and middle mouse button to just put it up there kind of reasonably. And I have the character palette here because I want to choose a rather bold angular, don't choose a rounded typeface. The thing that makes the um, I want to put in here, um, let me um, hit my thing here, and I'm just going to go to a, uh, the, I hit finder, and I'm going to go to um, one of my light burst assignments to show you. This is what you're supposed to kind of get, all right? A light burst that has a lot of reaction. And what this is, is the word light burst with all the corners turns into this background. And I don't care what colors you use. I don't care how creative you get. Um, you can actually show me creativity. Um, I'm going to go to my other tab. You see how I have two tabs open and untitled in here? Remember, I'm going to hit Command tilde, the key above the tab key, to tab back and forth. So I can tab back and forth I don't, without even seeing my tabs. Okay. So I'm hitting Command Option or Control Alt I to see that I am definitely 8 by 4 at 72 ppi. Let's get right into it. So I need my layer palette on this screen. And then um, word of um, advice. When in you are in doubt of ruining a layer, simply duplicate it because you always have um, the ability to throw away the duplicate layer. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to move this down. And I want to put the layer palette over there for a second and then let's go for it. Okay, so um, it says on the PDF, it says new document 8x4, background contents transparent. Whoops, I didn't make it transparent. So the easy way to do that is to double click the background, boom, and then um, all I have to do is take um, this background and just hit Command A to select all and hit the delete key. Okay, so now it's transparent. I mean, if I made it white, just get rid of the white. But you have to turn the background layer into a layer by double clicking it. Okay, cool. So I did. <clears throat> now it says um, number two. So you're going to read number two. Okay, there's number two. Type light burst in black font. Um, I say, because I used impact for my font and size is 100 points. So I said open the character palette, click on full bold. Normally I don't want you ever to use the foes down here. See these foes down here? Normally I don't ever want you to use those, but I'm gonna type in impact before I even start typing. I'm doing this all in front of you. Oh, and let me go. So this should be as long as it takes you to do this. So let's take the T key and let's type in light burst. Now, that's lowercase. I don't even rem remember, couldn't say the word, 
where is my tool palette? I don't even remember. I just brought the tool palette over. So there's light burst. Now let's go back and hit command tilde and see that I have just about the right size light burst for this. Okay. Now, obviously I just want to center that. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but I have a lot of good angular stuff working here. So back to here, don't miss a step, but don't be afraid to command Z back or control Z back. And if you don't like something, duplicate the layer and then like go back a step, okay? Or go back a step and duplicate the layer and then keep on going forward. But um, it says, open the character palette, click on full bold, uh, command click the layer to save the selection. So we're really not using this and I want to type it in black. So I'm gonna click this um, color in the co um, character palette and I'm just gonna drag this to the bottom right, not the bottom left. And I'm going to hit Command S to save. Here's my save window. So I'll say Brian, or I'll just say Light Burst underscore Brian. And please put your name in there. You can even put your last name. So that's what you're going to turn into me. Okay. I don't want your JPEGs. I don't want it unless I specifically ask for it. So. Okay, and I'm saving it into um, not the right place. So <laughs> let me go to my right place. Um, oh my goodness, this is taking way too much time. Okay, so let me go to student 1200, 2300. Is this where I wanna be, Mr. Sorio? Oh goodness gracious, it's taking too long. I wanna get that wider. Okay, let me pull it down. Uh, student 2300, no, that one, that was it. 1200 modules, uh, fall semester, and light burst. So now I'm saving in, make sure you save into the right place, and I'm saving into the right place. Okay, cool. Now let's read what it says next. Okay, so it says everything, and then read it here. Now, I'm gonna click on full bold. I didn't do that yet. Then it says command click on right on the text layer. Command or control click and save the selection. And I'm gonna show you in channels, which is why I have channels right here. I want it to turn into a channel. So I'm gonna um, command click not on the word light burst over here, but right on the T right there. So I've command clicked right on it. Go to select, save selection. Let's call it um, light burst. And let's hit the return key. Okay, cool. Now look at down here. I have a light burst black on white. Okay, so we're not really using this text layer. We're only using it as an art form. That's really important and my dog just barked. So that's cool. So now it says deselect the selection on number three. Make a new layer, name it white text. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer and use this, so I can even turn it off. So we're gonna, I'm gonna deselect, I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm actually going to fill it with black right now. So I'm gonna take the foreground color and make it black. Now I'm gonna hit Alt or Option Delete or Alt Backspace and fill it with black. Now, I want to Command or Control click right on the T. Do you see what I'm doing? Now, do you see it on screen? It turns into a selection. Make sure you're clicked on layer one and then make the foreground color white and just hit Option or Alt, Backspace or Delete, and Command S to save the file. Now I can deselect. Now let's read and see if I did number three correct. Yes, I did. It has to be white text on a black background. Now, we're going to duplicate the layer and rename it Light Burst Effect. Then it says go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur 11.5. So let's do that. So let's, um, first I'll name this, um, it says duplicate the layer. So I'll even say, uh, even though it wasn't in my, I'm saying that that is the original, if I spelled that right, O-R-I-G. I always spell that wrong. Original. <laughs> O-R-I-G-I-N-A-L. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, I had to ask somebody. Hey, I'm an artist, okay? So let's duplicate the layer. How do you duplicate it? You drag it into the new layer icon, turn off the first one, and let's name this light burst effect. No spaces. And I am good to go. Yes, I did. Hit the return key. While that layer is selected, I'm going to bring this over here again. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur 11.5. So let's go to here, Filter, Blur, 
Gaussian blur, 11.5. I'm bringing this back here. I use my other screen a lot, so that's why I'm always doing that. Let's go to 11.5. I should just type it in and then hit the return key. Okay, now let's go here and do it. So now it says duplicate the layer. I'm sorry, it says go to filter, stylize, solarize. So I don't think I need to duplicate the, the blurred one yet, but I am going to probably do it when I get somewhere down here. So let's go to Filter, Stylize, Solarize. So um, with it selected, Filter, Stylize, and Solarize. Now look at how it made this really cool thing here that goes around it. Now I want to duplicate it at this point, which is I think what you should do. So I'm actually going to name this number 2, even though it might not be in the directions. I would do it, hit Command S or Control S to save. Now we have to auto levels this. In Photoshop, they've changed this so many times. If it's not in adjustments auto levels, it's going to be in levels auto. Did you hear what I said? Now the reason I left it like this is because some people have older versions of Photoshop. But of course you would be following not just this, because if you're only following this PDF, then you didn't watch this movie and I don't care if you actually miss this step. So I'm going to go to actually levels and auto if you have the new Photoshop. So let's go to levels. Um, so I don't even, I don't know why I did that. Let's hit command or control L. Let me bring this over to this other screen. And now this is where the new auto is. So now you can see how it brightened it up. Command S to save the file. Okay, I'm leaving it like this, just like this, for the old, for the people who have older Photoshop files. But if I, okay, I already said what I needed to say. So now we can rename it Light Burst Effect 2. So I'm going to grab this, Command C, for safekeeping, turn visibility off, click back on Light Burst Effect, save your file and your work. I already saved mine. So now um, I don't want to um, ruin this, so I'm going to duplicate it. And I already named it Light Burst Effect 2. You know what? I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm just going to call it Light Burst Effect uh, 3. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter just as long as you have an extra version. So see how this one and this one are the same one? So fine. Let's turn all these off. So now I'm working on this one. So the visibility that I only have on is this one. So now it wants me to go to... I'm reading. Um, filter, Distort, polar coordinates and then let's go polar to rectangular not many of you have ever used that so let's go to filter distort polar coordinates polar to rectangular the bottom one now the very next one if you read my thing here my handout it says and I'm gonna read a couple of these let's go to rotate canvas 90 degrees fine we don't need to duplicate wind from right one time then I am going to duplicate it so let's go to um, rotate canvas 90 degrees so let's go to I'm sorry uh, image yeah right image let's rotate canvas and let's go 90 degrees clockwise okay it's important that you do that command us to save the file because we want the wind to go left and right there is no wind for up and down. So let's go to um, stylize. Number 10 is filter, um, stylize, wind. And then we want to go from the right, which it already defaults to, one time. Now I'm going to leave that alone. I think I'm going to continue with this one. I don't want to do another one. Okay? So even though in here I said to do another one, it might take it might take and make the race too soft. So I'm going to skip 11. Now, I might come back to 11, so I don't want to ruin this. So I'm going to go to here and duplicate it, and I'm going to turn off the first one, and I'm going to name this one number 4. There. Now, command us to save the file. Now, I can always come back to this and do wind again, right? Correct? So I better select this layer. Let us go to back to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So let's go to um, image rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now we can go back to polar coordinates and switch it to um, right here it says 
switch it back to rectangular to polar. Fine, that's cool. So let's go to filter, um, distort polar coordinates, and this time switch it to rectangular to polar, and there is your light burst. So mine is pretty cool. Mine worked really well only doing the wind one time. Now if you're, if it didn't work for you, remember that I said, and a lot of students do this, is they forget at the initial thing to make it 72 ppi. They make it 300, which is what I usually say to do. But this time, no, 72. So I'm just going to cancel it. So the next thing is to create the pretty colors. So what we want to do, we're on number 13, uh, 14. Now it says um, mode to normal and save the file. So uh, did I forget the mode? Oh, I don't think I did forget the mode. I just wanted to make sure. Did I forget the mode on this? I'm reading. I just let me just go for a second. Oop, look, I have a big space there. I'm terrible. Okay, so um, that's fine. Mode to normal. I just want to make sure your mode is to normal and save the file. Go to filter radial blur 53. Now this is the one I might not do the second one on. So I'm going to duplicate it after this after I do radial blur 53 quality best. So let's go filter. Um, blur and go all the way down to radial blur and then let's leave it at um, zoom let's make sure zoom is selected and let's go quality best and then all the way to 53 so let's click OK now what that's gonna do is it stretched it out so let me go command Z back and now forward see how that stretched it out and it actually smoothed out the whole interior now it says, uh, I better duplicate it. This will be number five, and I'm going to turn off the bottom one. Remember, you, having more layers is not a bad thing. So let me hit Command S to save. Now it says, let's try 20. I told you I wasn't going to do it. I lied to you. Let's go to Radial Blur and try just 20 this time. And let me see if it actually stretches that out. It really didn't do anything, so it didn't hurt anything. I'm good with that. Now, it says on number 16, let me bring this over. On number 16, it says uh, on light burst effect, use paintbrush and smooth out the gray. This is where I don't want you to do too much, but do you see here how the gray looks too dark? Now, and it's got blotchies. So we are going to um, take the B key. You see how big my brush is? I'm going to make it smaller. Now, I want you to see how I'm painting with my um, flow on about 10. Please make sure your flow is not on 100. Good. Now, let's right hand click and make sure we're all the way to pretty much soft. Okay, cool. Now, let's hold Alt or Option and let's sample a middle gray and let's smooth all this out. Let's take away some of this because this is going to get in the way of our readability on the text. So we need to give the text, which is going to be the front image, a nice field so it doesn't get too distracting. Okay, but don't take away any of it. Look, I'm just painting. I can't really make a mistake on here. Okay, so I'm painting on it and I think that's just about right. Now let me hit Command S to save. Okay, so I painted on it, and now let's see. I have another space in here. Uh, I should fix that before I give it to you. On the light burst effect, use paintbrush, use streaks, and in step nine has a better display. So in 17, it says add an adjustment layer to the light burst layer. Play with the sliders until the rays are slightly defined. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so um, I don't really, my rays are pretty nicely defined right now. It says add an adjustment layer, play with the sliders. Oh, this is optional, uh, so you don't need to do this. I'm going to skip to 18. This is totally, you have to do this. Make a new layer, call it cover overlay, move it above, make sure that we're doing a layer fill with linear gradient or radial gradient. I used green to blue, you can experiment. So um, I'm just going to do this quickly, you can experiment. So new layer, let me just say this is color overlay. And let me um, play with this. So what I'm going to do is um, 
let us go to the G key. Let us go to a um, like a circular or a radial gradient. Now in here, I'm going to try a few colors. Okay, so um, I can just pick one right here, and I'm going to see what the center's like. Let me try to go to take this color stop right here. This is the opacity stop. Here's the color stop. So let me make this a really pretty. Um, I'm experimenting here. Let me make this a bright blue and let me make this one a really pretty magenta. Now let's try what that's going to do. Let's see what that's going to do. Now I can click new and I now have a new one. See, I didn't ruin the old one. I just made, I used the old one to edit my colors. Now, if I go from the center out, I have the blue. So if I go from the center out a little farther, I have more blue. Now what I want to do to that is um, I want to put the color, the mode of this right here. I want to go down to color. Now, um, what I also want to do, and um, see how this ends really harshly here? See how that ends really harshly? I now remember that, let me bring it over here. I now remember that, um, and I have to remember what I tried to remember. Um, so the gray, uh, the rays are slightly defined. So, um, there is one step on here that is going to smooth out and take the edge of this. It's on, let me turn this off, which is the color overlay. Let me hit command S to save. If I want this to smooth out and I want this to not have such an edge to it, um, I am going to take it to gosh, I almost don't remember, to an overlay layer? No. Um, I might have to pause this video for a second and remember what it is I did. I think what I did was I just, gosh, and blurred this one. Let me read my thing. It says optional. Make an adjustment layer to the, play with the sliders until the rays are slightly defined. Um, I'm going to continue with my color overlay layer and I'm going to, actually, I think that's really pretty. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna continue and um, let me try to put this on like a multiply mode, nope, or a screen mode, nope, overlay. Okay, there, there that's it, that's it. Um, on my um, handout, it says go to color. Now, if you go to overlay, it smooths out the edges. And that's all I wanted to do. So I've done this for so many years, I actually forgot, which is okay. So the modes are amazing. So um, and you know what? It actually is called overlay. So rather than using color, I should have used overlay. Anyway, that's okay. And now um, we're done. All we have to do is um, take the original lettering, which is the layer down here, and move it up to the top. But let me duplicate it. So what I want you to do you show me that you're taking a new one, put it on top, and put the mode onto screen. And now just remove a little color from it, just a little, so we can see it like this. And there, command us to save, is your light burst. Now if I hadn't taken, see how it looks blotchy underneath? To me it does. So now that looks just so much better. So save this as a PSD file and give me, upload the PSD file. And then you can experiment. I don't care if you want to try this once or twice or three times, but let's go on to the next one and um, I will see you on the next one.